Okay, Zabata. Hi, Zabata. I'm not sure if this is the place to mail this or not, but this is my laptop. So he has sent uh, a link oh. so that we can take a look at his laptop. Okay, let me pull it up. With the ESATA picture that we were discussing in the chat room, I just want to use the ESATA to install distros to and testing. You see, as I have lots of old HDDs, hard, hard drives. Hard drives, yeah. You can see it best on the third horizontal line second picture, if that makes sense. I'm going to take Zabata's email yeah. and convert it down into English. Okay. Zabata. This would be really good. Hi, my name is Zabata. I have a hard drive I'd like to connect externally to my laptop. How do you know he talks like that? He doesn't. He oh. absolutely does not. <laughs> he has the radio voice. <laughs> but basically that's what he's asking for here. Okay. There it is. Okay, so we got a nice little laptop. Okay, third horizontal line, powerhouse. second picture. Oh, that's not the second picture. Robbie's just learning to count. Uh, okay, well, where did he say? Third horizontal line, second picture. It's on the back of the laptop and it's two ports together. Oh, I see, okay. Okay. Whoa, that took me away. So, all right, so it's got two ports. It's a USB port and an ESATA port. Not combined, but actually two jacks. Okay, so you have ESATA is basically what he's showing us. So that's cool. He's got a dock that he's trying to mount these drives to. Two ports. Does your, uh, when you boot your system, does it recognize the hard drives, Zabata? I know that we're talking about being able to install operating systems, but if you boot into Ubuntu or Windows or whatever is installed as your primary operating system on the internal hard drive, and then you connect that dock and mount a hard drive in it, are you able to see those drives? Yeah, okay. So what happens now when you boot into uh, a live CD to install to one of those drives? Are you seeing that drive during the ins uh, in the live CD before the install process? It shows up. So what happens then? Are you able to install to that drive, but then it just doesn't boot from it? Exactly, he says. Okay. Um, wow. So then I would just immediately... Now, does it boot from your hard drive at that point? But it ruined his Grub. Oh, Grub is installing to HD00 rather than the external hard drive. Did he mention anything about using... Uh, did you use uh, uh, Super Grub? Super Didn't Grub mention. Okay. You used uh, Super Grub to rescue it. Okay. But you still can't boot that system. It's it's a it's an odd one, but I I would wonder if the BIOS of your computer supports booting from the external uh, device, which sometimes see it doesn't list the ESATA in your BIOS. It won't show it as ESATA. If it's there, it will just show up as a hard drive. So when you boot the computer, go into BIOS with the drive connected on the dock. Do you see that hard drive as a boot option? Because if not. Odds are your BIOS doesn't support booting from your external hard drive. But that seems so weird. Okay. But you don't see it as a boot option? It says that the company uh, that makes the laptop said it does. Yeah, Warcow's mentioning that you'd have to install Grub on the drive that you're experimenting with. That could be true. But if it's not showing up as a boot device in the first place, then it's not going to boot from it. But... Definitely, what happened when it broke your when it broke your uh, grub on the main primary hard drive, your internal hard drive, that tells me that you're not specifying which drive to install grub to. So it's just going on the first drive, HD00. So Warco says install grub to the drive you're experimenting with and boost from the drive directly. Yeah, and you can do that with Super Grub Disk uh, as well. Just experiment around it, and unfortunately, I don't have a, a fix-all for you. Sorry, bud. But a super grub disk might be uh, a big help for you. Give that a go. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, Zabata, I don't have a, an easy answer. But it's, it's, I don't think, it sounds like you're installing it. It's getting in there. It's on the drive. Mm. But you've just got to tell your system to boot from it. So it, it might be even if you create a new Grub entry on, now that you've fixed Grub on your internal drive, why don't you try creating a new Grub entry in your menu.l, is it lst or, yeah, lst file? slash boot slash grub. There's a file in there called menu.lst or menu.list. I can never remember. And if you add that operating system to that, then perhaps when you boot grub, it's going to now grub will have that new operating system as an option. So you'd actually be able to choose from your internal drive or external drive using grub without ever having to put grub on the, on the external drive. Play around with it. Uh, look into grub, uh, advanced grub configuration. Adding, adding different operating systems to Grub. That would be where I would start.